What's up YouTube, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the A6 GT 2160 in this oatmeal and simply taupe colorway. So this is a general release colorway of the A6 GT 2160 which has been out in stores for a while now. But the reason why I'm giving you guys my review so late is because I actually grabbed these recently for 30% off retail from Soul Stop. And it's been a colorway that I've kind of had my eye on for some time now, but I was just waiting for the right price before I pulled the trigger and grabbed these for my collection. So the A6 GT2160 is undoubtedly one of the top silhouettes that the brand is offering as part of their sports style offerings. And while it was originally intended to be a performance running shoe, nowadays it's just being used casually as an everyday lifestyle sneaker. So jumping right into the details of this shoe, as we start things off with the toe box, this is covered in this mesh layer and it's done in this light beige colored tone. Right above this towards the eyelets, we have this synthetic overlay in this darker cream color with the silver ASICS branding in the middle and then overlaid on top of the toe box, we have these asymmetrical overlays which is done in a mix of cream, silver on the edges and we have this reflective 3M panel on the medial edge of the toe box. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this synthetic leather overlay with these darker tan colored accents and the same synthetic tumbled leather covers the bottom two eyelets as well as the top three eyelets. And then covering the mid panel of both sides of the sneaker, we have the ASIC stripes, which is done in a mix of cream, beige, and silver. Moving downwards, we have more of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. And then covering the back of the shoe, we have another synthetic leather overlay. And on the lateral side only, we have GT2160 branding. On the bottom of the heel, we have another layer of synthetic leather. Above this, we have this 3D or puffy gel branding. And on the very top of the heel, we have this darker beige colored netting with another reflective 3M panel. In terms of laces, so this pair only comes with one lace option and they're an oval shaped lace done in this beige or dark cream color. But one thing I noticed is that these laces had a bit of a scratchier feel to them and they actually ran a little bit short compared to some of my other GT2160s. I don't know if this was a mistake from the factory or if every single pair in this colorway has that same issue, but the laces to me at least were noticeably shorter. Underneath this, the tongue is covered primarily in that same mesh that covers the upper of the shoe. We have this woven strip in the middle and then the top of the tongue. This is covered in a beige colored mesh and we have a puffy semicircle overlay with ASICS branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is lined in mesh and the collar of the shoe has some degree of padding to it. It's not super thin but at the same time, it's definitely not overstuffed either. And then as far as the insoles go, so the insoles are Ortholite branded insoles. They are covered in mesh on the top and we have A6 GT2160 pressed onto the heel. So the upper of the GT2160 sits atop this chunky EVA foam midsole which is painted in the sail color. We also have A6 gel technology which is visible on both the lateral and the back of the heel and this helps with impact protection and shock absorption. And then finally turning this pair over to the bottom, so this outsole is constructed out of rubber in this grayish brown sort of tone. We have these grooves to give you added flexibility. And then in the middle of the outsole, we have this vintage looking cream colored TPU shank plate, which is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And in terms of sizing, these fit like any other GT2160. So I personally go true to size and it fits me perfectly. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10, and I found that there's about an index finger's width space between the top of the shoe and the top of my toe, and the width of the shoe gives me no problems whatsoever. So to give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 in the Gel 1130 and the Gel Keanu 14. So whatever size you normally wear for those A6 models, stick with that same size for this pair. Unless you have a really, really wide foot, you might want to consider going up half a size. But I feel like for the majority of people out there, just going with your actual measured foot size, it should be okay. Moving on to the comfort. So this shoe is comfortable, but it's not an overly soft, super cushioned sneaker. If you're looking for a shoe that feels a bit more supportive, that's a bit more on the stiffer side, especially underneath the heel, this will be a great option for you. But if you're someone that prefers a softer ride, something that feels a bit more bouncy and more pillowy, then there are definitely models out there that will feel better for you. So while the sneaker is more on the firm side, don't get me wrong, it's not gonna feel like a Converse Chuck Taylor or something like that. It technically can still be classified as a running shoe, so it's still gonna feel very comfortable underfoot. But just when I compare it to other ASICs running shoes, like for example, the Gel 1130 or the Gel Keanu 14, these ones are just more on the firm side. 
Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship, so first off, the material quality of this shoe was really nothing special, and it was honestly pretty poor because all the materials used here are all synthetic. We just have a bunch of synthetic overlays that have a bit of a plastic feel to them. The leathers are obviously very fake, but for the price point you're paying, it's kind of expected that you're not gonna get actual genuine materials. And if you just think of it as more of a running shoe, that's what a typical running shoe has. You have these mesh layers and these synthetic overlays to make it a bit more lightweight. So in that sense, it makes sense. But from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I thought this pair was pretty flawless. The panels were consistent between my left foot and the right foot. The stitch job was pristine, no glue stains, and the paint job was good as well. So as long as you go into this expecting that it's not gonna be a super premium product, I think you'll be pretty happy with the comfort and the overall build quality. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. If you couldn't tell by now, I've become a big fan of the GT2160. It's a great shoe to have as an everyday, by the door sort of sneaker. One that you don't have to worry about getting dirty or wearing them in not so pristine conditions. And it feels decent enough on foot that it'll be a great shoe to wear if you're, for example, running errands. In this colorway, I think it was really nice because these tan and beige tones, I think it elevates it a little bit compared to, for example, the white and black pair that I reviewed on my channel a couple months back. That pair definitely has more of that classic dad shoe vibe, but because of the color palette on this shoe, I think it elevates it more. It makes it a little bit more dressy and a little bit more classy. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this oatmeal and simply taupe colorway of the A6 GT2160? For anyone watching, have you tried a pair of this model before? What are your thoughts on the silhouette? Are you a fan of it? Is it a little bit too firm for you? However you feel, leave your comments down below and let's talk about it. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow me on x at sean.gospeltout, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.